Andy, I believe uh, we've got some news about Mark Crichton in the future. Yeah, unfortunately, he's decided that he's had enough of football and trying to play. Um, felt that the last year and a half has been too too difficult, too many setbacks, um, and that football's not been a priority in his life now. And to have it in his life to work the way that he's going to have to work to stay in football is, is too much and he's got a lot of other things going on so unfortunately he's going to retire from football and uh, walk away. So that's, I take it with immediate effect? So. With immediate effect, yeah, he's gone. Um, we, we came to a mutual agreement with the rest of his contract. So he's done and dusted and um, we wish him all the best in whatever he decides to do in the future. He's been a great servant for us. He's had some really good times here. He's been a big part of our changing room as well, not just on the pitch, but in the changing rooms as well. <coughs> so he's going to be a big big void to fill, literally a big void to fill. He's battled hard, isn't he? I mean, the, the injury at the time was horrible. You know, There's so many different problems inside his knees. Yeah. But he managed to get that game at Mansfield at the end of the season. But as you say, the little niggles keep coming back. And just yeah, he worked really hard to get back in that season because people said he wouldn't play that season, and he did. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, he did pre-season, no problems. and did his hamstring and then it was his hamstring that was more the problem than it was his knee but it, I think it all stemmed from his mm -hmm. from his knee but uh, yeah I think the third hamstring was probably the the final straw really and it, it worked tirelessly to get back from the second hamstring worked really hard and he was feeling great in, in, in training and he played in the reserves no problem and then the first bit of proper contact football and 20 minutes in and it goes he's I think he's just his body's telling him something and I think he's took that decision. It's not a light one to take because you're a long time retired and I tried mm -hmm. to talk to him about it. I think, But I think his decision was made up and his mind was made up and uh, I don't want to make somebody do something they don't want to do. Exactly. He's got an outside business, clever lad, isn't he? He's got the business, this tattoo business, and he's also doing a fair bit of media work now. Yeah, that's right. He's got a few irons and fires, so it's not coming straight out into the cold, if you like. He's got other things on, but... Uh, he, you know, he's got a little bit of money as well behind him from yeah. us for the rest of his contract, obviously. Uh, so he's he's going to be set. He's going to be okay. He's, like you say, a clever lad. He's got his nice little business going, and I'm sure that will grow and grow with him. But also, he's a he's a big figure. He's a known face, if you like, around the place, around Wrexham and around the lower leagues. And I'm sure he'll be. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine, and uh, I'm sure he'll have a, a good future in whatever he decides to do.